Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you a quick trick of how you can hide your formulas um, in your spreadsheets. Now, keep in mind, this is not going to uh, completely hide your formulas, uh, but it's just a way, for example, sometimes when you uh, create a template for a user that is not really tech savvy, and then they hover over and they see a lot of like this, here are not too complex formulas, but sometimes you have like a really long formula and they get kind of like um, discouraged or scared to use this spreadsheet. I've heard that before. I've got that feedback. So this was a way that I found uh, for them to not be able to um, see the formulas. So all you got to do, so in this spreadsheet right here, uh, you, uh, all the... Um, all the columns that have the white header, they have um, formulas, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to create a new tab right here, add sheet. Now it's going to create these new sheets right here. And then all I'm gonna do, I'm going to um, get this all the way down, sorry. You want to make sure that you have the same amount of rows in here and then you have over there. So I'm going to do, give like a little control X, not control C, it's control X or command X if you're not using a Mac. Once you cut this right here, you will see that this is like this dashed lines, uh, blue dashed lines. So then you come over here and then uh, you paste. Control V, just click OK. Now you see, he copied over my formulas, okay? Um, now this is cell B2. Now I'm going to go back to my affiliates tracker. Now here, there's no formulas anymore. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to name this sheet right here. I'm going to uh, name it, do not edit and you'll understand why in a second. So let's go back here and you're going to, now you're going to reference the cell B2 on this do not edit tab. So all you're gonna do, click um, oh, the equal sign, go back to the tab and click right here and then click okay. Now this is here, but the formula, it's not showing that gigantic formula, it's showing just do not edit. So I. I like the do not edit because uh, it just makes the user aware that they're not supposed to edit that cell. So all you got to do this, uh, you just click and let's see if this will do it. No, it won't do it. So just click here, control C. And because this is not uh, an absolute cell, I'm just going to um, press shift. So, okay, so I'm going to select this. I'm going to go slow. So on D5, I'm going to select shift, control, and arrow down twice. It's going to take me to the end of my, um, my rows and then just control V. Now, when you click here, you'll see that it's referencing those cells. And if you go here, you have all the way down to the row to uh, 2,209 and then 2,212, and that's okay because I have an extra header here that I don't have on this one. So formula is working. Everything has a formula in here. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and, because the formatting is a bit different, I'm just gonna go ahead and um, click this little paint format, and then I'm gonna click right here. And I'm gonna go like this. And now I'm gonna control C again so I can paste the format down. So I copy this with control C and then I'm going to paste this here. So I'm gonna uh, select on my keyboard, shift, control and down all the way and then control V. So you see that now we pasted the, the lines over here, the borders, right? Uh, it fixed the font, everything is back to normal and now you hid your cells. So I'm gonna do the same for this two over here. So I'm gonna select this two and I'm gonna press control, uh, shift control down all the way 
to the last row, control X, come back here, and then you can give a little space and paste that here. Now you see this again, it's here. Um, what you can do, you can select this two first and select the paint format because this one now, this one is formatted as currency. Uh, same with this one, so you can go back here and just click here. So now it pasted the formatting. See, it pasted all, including the, um, the borders over here. So now, same thing as, as we did over here, just click uh, equal sign, go back here, this one, okay. Now you see that it, it, um, the font, everything is the same, the font and the font size. Let's go back to the not edit, click okay. This control C, not control X, this one is control C. Then on the keyboard, uh, shift control, arrow down, and then paste it. Now everything is back here and it still do not edit. Do not edit, do not edit, do not edit. Um, last one is this. Um, shift control all the way down, arrow down, control X, and then paste here. Get the paint format. So we don't mess up this here because once you do the control X, it cuts everything from here, including the format. So uh, this is why we do the paint format because it just copies over everything, all the, for the formatting. So equal here, okay. And then on this first cell, control C. Now the control C, it, do not, it does not cut, it just copies. And here you have it and you have all your formulas back in here, but now they're not showing, they're just showing, do not edit. Now, once you're done with this, you come to this uh, this tab right here. You don't even have to format or do anything with this because this is the development tab. Um, technically, they're not supposed to change anything in here. So um, just click here and then click hide sheet. And now it's, not horrible. so it's still here you can still see here uh, see the sheets in here but it's not going to be um, right in their face okay so they might not even you know be curious enough to go in here and check it out so that's a little trick for you let me know if this was helpful thanks for watching